Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Oh, I bet. I he's business's bad boy. You're bad, and I like it. Yep, he's one bad apple. That's right, that's right, we're bad. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. He's Jim Blassingame, the small business advocate. Bad, 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 bad. Amazing yeah. Welcome back, 34 after the hour. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Thanks for being part of my day. Always a pleasure to continue to be with you. Especially when Adrian Ott joins us again, ladies and gentlemen. I know that's why you're hanging around, because you heard Adrian's in the building. Adrian is the CEO and the founder of Exponential Edge. She's the author of The 24-Hour Customer. I told you earlier in the hour that she had some very important things that you and I need to be paying attention to with regard to customers. Consulting Magazine called her the most respected Silicon Valley consultant. Uh, strategist uh, that they have, and also I think it also said the most, the smartest and the most beautiful. I think that was also in the article. And she's our good friend Adrian Ott. Welcome back, Jim. Good morning. Nice to speak with you again. Good to have you back as always, Adrian. Um, one of the things that you've been talking, thinking about, and writing and talking about with regard to customer care, customer service, is along the lines of algorithms. You know, algorithms have become a very powerful part of our lives, haven't they? I mean, people don't realize it, but, but, uh, but so much of, of the efficiencies, so much of the value that we have access to online is because of algorithms, things that these, these uh, codes that are developed, these systems, these strategies, so to speak, these digital strategies that have been developed to help all of us be more efficient online. And you've, you've taken that thought, the algorithm thought, and you've applied it to customer care, haven't you? That's true. You know, it's funny, Jim, as marketing and customer service becomes more automated and online, we start to see these patterns that emerge. And as I've started to, and, and my firm has started to work with more customers in this realm, we've started to realize that not only are there algorithms that start to uh, define the customer service, but the way the customers act also are affected by algorithms. And, right. and so I started to see some patterns in the way that customers are interacting with the companies that we um, do business with. And that's shaped a lot by the way the, the companies define their customer experience. Right. Well, and, and so, so let's talk about that. What, um, when you say define the customer experience, see, when you say that, you're presuming that people actually know how to do that. Well, you know, it's not as um, technical and complex as it may seem. These could be offline transactions as well. These are the promotions that you run right. with your customers. These are the uh, kinds of uh, web pages that you put up. Mm -hmm. But also it can be the customer experience when they call into your call center or they call in to want to talk to you or they visit your store. Well, see, so the point I'm making, though, Adrian, is that is that – is that first we have to get small business owners to realize that they should be doing these things, that they should be paying attention to customer experiences, they should be asking about customer experience, that, that they should even be tracking this. In other words, instead of crack, tracking sales, instead of saying, okay, we ran an ad and we, we, we sold $1,000 worth, they should be also be saying, okay, why didn't we sell $2,000 worth? Right? That's, that's a really, really great insight, Jim, because it's really – getting into what impact is that having on the way that your customers behave with you, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, is, this is, you know, we often react to each other and how our context defines us. And so, you know, we talk a lot about demographics, and you may be saying, okay, my customers are, are people that are 35 and married and, mm -hmm. you know, have kids. But what's more important is how are the interactions that you're, putting together, shaping the algorithm of your relationship with your customer. How is that promotion affecting the way that mm -hmm. customer responds to you? Which means that you can't just run the ad and wait for people to come in. 
you have to do a little more legwork, a little more an analysis of the overall response, right? Not just did they buy from you, but why did they buy why did they not buy more? Who who didn't come in? Did we say something or do something that caused somebody not to come in? That sort of thing. Those are all part of your algorithm uh, calculus, isn't it? That is. That is. I think also, um, you know, we can we can get into this a little bit later, but you can also train your customers to always look for price discounts. Ah. And train that... customers. I like that. <laughs> I've, I've been I've been talking about that for a long time. I've been telling my audience a long time. If you really know what you're doing, you can train customers. You really can. Yeah, you can, and and you shape the relationship. I mean, think about um, you know if you were working in in, in corporate America or even in work, right. working with a client. Think of somebody that is cold to you. How are mm-hmm. you going to respond to somebody that's cold to you mm-hmm. versus someone that's warm? Hold on to that thought, Adrian. Give us the website, please. Um, my website is exponentialedge.com. Check it out. The book is called The 24-Hour Customer. Adrian C. Odd is the name of the book. 20 till. I'm Jim Blassingame. Right back with Adrian. Stay with me. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame. Brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.